Paul with Trail again here today, and I am going to go over a demonstration and review of the Wetterlings Bushman Axe. It was co-designed by Les Stroud of Survivor Man, and uh, this is basically the axe that you'll get. It comes with a full grain leather sheath. It comes with a hand forged head. You can see that right there with a nice hammer neck. It comes with a 22 inch long hickory handle as well. So each one differs slightly from the next due to the fact that each one is specifically handmade. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate uh, how the Bushman Axe does uh, chopping now. Uh, just a little something to note is typically when you notch a V in a piece of wood that you're chopping, you want it roughly the diameter of the tree. So say this one's about six inches, you want your V to be about six inches as well. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our sheath off and we're gonna go ahead and cut our notch. So you can see there, it does not take long to make quick work of a nice piece of wood like that. Now what Wetterlings and West Str Les Stroud were trying to achieve by the design of this axe is an axe that was small enough to carry in your pack, but yet extremely versatile. And as you saw before, it does an excellent job chopping wood, but I was a little skeptical when it came to the concept of splitting wood. So here we go, we'll demonstrate this is a, a freshly cut piece of madrone. So it's pretty wet and we'll see how we go. see there, despite only weighing two pounds, the axe has unbelievable splitting power. We'll also grab some of these. We found these along the logging trail. Thought, eh, might give them a try. These are green, green pieces of wood. So, no idea how this is going to go, but let's give her a shot. So. Nick to that one. So you can see the uh, the axe really does a beautiful job splitting wood. Stop the other thing I really appreciated about the design of the Bushman was this really well thought out notch in the face of the blade. Uh, this notch allows you to choke way far up on the handle and get your thumb up around the hammer head or hammer neck so you can get a really good grip. Because the handle is only 22 inches long, it's actually very easy to move around when doing smaller tasks. Say you were making some kindling for a fire, you can just make nice and easy quick work um, a lot of people nowadays are buying axes for bushcraft and doing things like making bowls and spoons and things like that. Um, I feel that this would really make a great axe for those type of projects. And you have to ask yourself when you can go to just about any hardware store, Kmart, camp store, and pick up a similar axe for about $15 to $20, possibly $30, why would I take and spend the money to buy this axe that's hand forged in Sweden. I have a son and I spend a lot of time in the woods with him and he's young now and I'm sure we're going to have a lot of adventures and he's going to have spend a lot of time with this axe. He's probably going to chop stuff and remember doing all kinds of things that he's not supposed to do with it. I mean heck he'll probably cut himself with it at some point or another because that's what being a little boy is about and as he gets older there will be memories that become a part of this axe. He will remember this. This will become part of his childhood that hopefully one day I can pass on to him because I know this axe will last longer than I will and possibly even longer than him. So when asked, is this little axe, you know, hickory handle, piece of steel, two pounds, worth $149, I would say without question, I can't think of a better way to spend my money. And I look forward to passing this on to myself.